What's up, everybody? I'm Sly, the movie guy. And here's my movie review of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, directed by Sam Raimi, starring Benedict Cumberbatch, Elizabeth Olsen, Benedict Wan, Sochil Gomez, excuse me if I pronounce your name incorrectly, and the rest of the other cast and crew. And in this film, Dr. Stephen Strange casts a forbidden spell that opens a portal to the multiverse. However, a threat emerges that may be too big for his team to handle. I was very excited of checking this film out because I love the first Doctor Strange movie. I thought Scott Derrickson did a phenomenal job directing the film. Benedict Cumberbatch did fantastic playing the character, the visual effects. Everything about that movie worked for me on so many levels. So my excitement for this film was like up to here, man. This was like easily one of my most anticipated films of 2022 and stuff. Because, I mean, it's like dealing with, like, the multiverse of madness and stuff. Because the multiverse and all things. Because we've seen Spider-Man No Way Home already have done that. And now this film was just, like, yes, we can we can see all the multiverse and stuff like that. This movie, like, supposed to, like, give us, like, a lot, like, give us a lot of multiverse things. A lot of crazy stuff was going to happen. So my excitement levels was, like, like I said, up to here, man. And the trailer's... Really looked good for the most part. So I was very, like, excited to checking this film out. And hearing in Comic-Cons, I think the one where Scott Derrickson in the past, where he said that it's going to have, like, a... It's going to be, like, a horror film and stuff. And I was kind of shocked because Marvel never made their films horror. And due to uh, creative differences, Scott Derrickson left the project and stuff like that. And so I was like, hmm, are they not going to do a horror Doctor Strange movie? But then when they brung Sam Raimi on board, I was like kind of like shocked there and again and happy because I'm a big Sam Raimi fan. And so I like Scott Derrickson, but I'm a big Sam Raimi fan. I mean, from the Evil Dead trilogy, Spider-Man trilogy, Drag Me to Hell, Dark Man. I mean, he created, he done directed like those incredible films and stuff. So I was like, my excitement levels was like even more up to here, man, because bringing in Sam Raimi, I'm like, wow. This is amazing. So my excitement levels was just like out of control, man. I was like so happy that Sam Raimi, and I've done videos on my channel. You can check them out. Click on that icon on top. So hearing Sam Raimi coming on board, I was like, okay, Marvel might be trying to do some horror and stuff like that. I mean, if you're bringing in Sam Raimi, you're, <laughs> you got to be doing like a horror film and stuff. I mean, Scott Derrickson left because of creative differences. So I was thinking like, okay, maybe they're not doing bringing in Sam Raimi. I guess y'all are going to try to go full with it. Maybe not too much and stuff. Cause Sam Raimi knows how to like, have like, like add some horror elements, have fun with making it a comic book movie for friends and family and stuff. Cause he did that with Spider-Man and stuff. So it was he so he, he he can do that balance those things out and stuff without making it full horror so i'm very curious how sam raimi is going to direct this film and stuff i knew it was going to have a sam raimi type style and horror vibe to it and stuff because sam raimi always got to have his stuff in there and stuff i mean if you look at his movies he's done that before and stuff but having like a horror comic book film with sam raimi attached to it hey Bring it on. I can't wait for it. So I went to the movie theaters and I say I enjoyed it for the most part. I have some issues with the film, which I'll get to my negatives later on in my review. But let me start off with the positives and stuff. First off, this does feel like a Sam Raimi movie from the directing, the style, the horror elements, everything, the flavor. It is just it. This is full on Sam Raimi. And that's a good thing because I think the MCU, for the most part, have let directors have their style in there. When you talk about the Russo brothers with the Captain America films and stuff like that, the Spice Vianage, the Taika Waititi with the comedy and humor and stuff, and Ron Coogler to a variety of directors. For the most, and James Gunn, for instance, and stuff. I think directors have, in, in the Marvel have had their styles and stuff and their direction, what they wanted to go with their films. And I think Sam Raimi style and everything of it really works well here, man. Wow. Some elements can be a little bit cheesy and stuff, but Hey, I enjoyed it. It, it didn't over it to me. It didn't over like power the film and stuff. I think it blended in well, especially when it comes to the horror stuff, man, whoo, Sam Raimi, 
he's skilled at it. I mean, this is why I like him as uh, like a hard director because he knows how to add in the, the he knows how to make it work and stuff. I mean, it was some scenes that really like got under my skin and stuff. And like when it came to like the Scarlet Witch stuff and all that, that definitely like put me like on the edge of my seat. I didn't know what was going to happen and stuff. And then when it came to like Zombie Strange and stuff like that, it was who it it was everything about it. I Sam Raimi did a great job with it and different scenes and stuff with the camera angles and stuff where um like different where things were going on and stuff like that towards the third act in the film, which I won't get any spoilers, but it was like definitely full Sam Raimi horror. And I was like, whoa, I was like, this is this is great, man. I, I was enjoying it. I was kind of like surprised that Marvel let him go kind of far like that. I'm like, man, so if you have any parents that's watching my video, if you kids on can kids watch this film i hey, i do not recommend kids watching it because this there's some disturbing scenes especially when it comes to the horror stuff it definitely had that vibe of like evil dead the dragging me to hell moments and stuff like that and i actually was like a little bit like happy about that and stuff because i'm a big fan of those films and stuff so it had all those elements in there and just like Sam Raimi have done, like put a little hard stuff in his films before, like Spider-Man 2 with the hospital stuff with the Doc Ock arms and all that, where they come and get in the nurses and stuff. So Sam Raimi, he's like, this is his playground. When you get the hard stuff with Sam Raimi, you're in the playground. He, like he's in his playground, excuse me. He's in his playground all together right there. So I was just like, wow. So I was happy about that. And the uh, action scenes that take place in daylight and stuff with the Doctor Strange costume and stuff. The bright red and blue colors and stuff reminded me of the first two Spider-Mans and stuff where you're fighting the villains in the daytime. Doctor Strange did that with the octopus monster and stuff like that. So that really was good and stuff. Brings that, that bright vibe color and stuff. Didn't feel like bland and stuff. So he did great with that and i just like the style what sam raymond was going for here and stuff and his direction fantastic so i feel like sam raymond did all what he could for this film and stuff for the most part and i enjoyed it and stuff like i said the horror stuff was a complete home run and then the regular action stuff and all that and the camera work two thumbs up i just love sam raymond man he he did good with this so i say everything about sam raymond worked on there worked worked on so many levels then the action and stuff in this movie was really, really cool, man. Wow. I it what I wouldn't say it was better than the first movie, if I would say, as far as action. I think they're both different and stuff. I think the first movie with the buildings bending and stuff like that was so cool in the first Doctor Strange movie. That really was mind-blowing. They had a little bit here, but not as much. But it was a different style. So I appreciate that the film was wanting to do something a little bit different. But I wanted that little bit from what the first film did. Give us that little, that mind bending and stuff like that. Especially like in some action scenes. I think it would have benefited. Would have gave it that that movie, that punch and stuff. You know how when you cook food, you want to add a little kick in there. I thought that would have elevated a little bit more. But you know, this is, this is Sam Raimi's film. This is not Scott Derrickson's film. So two different directors so i couldn't expect sam raimi like to interject in there but i wish it was a little bit of it like a little bit in there that just would have like whoo gave me that that spice and all that <laughs> if that even makes sense it, you know i i wish it was a little bit but hey the action stuff was real good i thought sam raimi did great with it and sam raimi have done good with action stuff before and stuff like that in the films like with the spider-mans like i've already mentioned already in here in the film, the in this review, he did he did good with the action stuff. Some of it, I wish would have went more like visceral because almost I can tell like Marvel like said uh, you can't go too far. So I figured like Sam Raimi probably wanted to go far with the the action and stuff like that, which some of it do get like violent and stuff. Some of it do get violent. I, there were some parts that I was like, okay, this is visceral Sam Raimi going for it and stuff. So I was happy about that. So the action stuff for. Stuff like that in the film worked for me, so but I think the first one was a little bit better than the first than this one. But hey, I think both. I think the action was 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 far none. It was good. Like if I wouldn't say it was knockout home run, but you know, decent enough. The acting in this movie, Benedict Cumberbatch and Doctor Strange definitely was good here and stuff. So him playing the character once again, he knocks out the park. 
Benedict Wong as Wong is fantastic. Wow. I just, I, 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 this was easily one of my favorite characters in the MCU. And I think he knocks out the park once again. I mean, it, it just don't, it, it, it what, him acting as Wong, it just, it doesn't feel like it's acting and all. It feels so natural. And I think he is fantastic as this character. I can't see anybody else playing him in this role. I mean, it just, everything about him, it just, every time he's on screen, it was just convincing in here. I mean, every time, I mean, even in the other MCU films, he is just so great as this character. And his chemistry with Benedict Cumberbatch is definitely like five out of five, two thumbs up. I loved it and stuff. And I just, I can talk about him all day and stuff. Cause every time, like I say, he's on screen, the film gets better. And, and in every scene in here, I just was like, wow. And I and wonder, was there more scenes of him? If there was like any deleted scenes on Cause I mean, like, hey, give me more Wong. Wong is great and stuff. So, and with, and I would have been happy if they did that and stuff, put more scenes with him and stuff, which he, he got some good screen time here in this film. So I was happy with it, but man, he, he's great as the character. So his acting performance was great. So chill Gomez is great in this film. I thought, the way how they did her character, like introduce her and stuff, talk, and the, her back and forth dialogue with Doctor Strange and other characters and stuff, I thought all that worked and stuff. Especially the her and the going on the journey, her and Doctor Strange through the multiverse and stuff. I thought all that worked well. I thought the chemistry was on point and stuff, and all that. And this is uh, the great like great of introducing this character in this particular movie and stuff. The way her powers worked and stuff. So I thought she did good for the most part. Rachel McAdams as Christine Palmer. I thought she did good in this movie. I thought her performance was a little bit better here than the first movie and stuff. Not saying her performance was bad, but she didn't get much to do in the first movie. Like, she had, like, a couple of good scenes in the first movie. Here, I felt like it was a lot more with her character here. They they give her a lot of, they get a lot of do in this movie. So, and I was happy about that because I think Rachel McAdams is a, is a good actress and stuff, so... I really liked her, so I thought the way they used the screen time for her in this film and her performance, it worked well and stuff. So you get a lot of Rachel McAdams as Christine in this movie. So that that's two thumbs up and stuff. So you get a little bit of her and Doctor Strange and stuff. He, you know that relationship from the first movie and stuff. So you get a little bit here again. And so it comes back to that from the first movie. So I thought some of that worked here in this film for the most part. But the one of the best performance in this movie alone that I really, really liked, and I was just like, whoa. And I'm like, this is a Doctor Strange movie. Scarlet Witch, played by Elizabeth Olsen. Woo! Her performance was just, like, out of this world. And I've always... And when I watch a comic book movie, because I've said that before on my channel, that comic book movies are one of my, like, my favorite genres. And... I always look for good performances from the characters from the pages and stuff. And this out of the boat, her performance was just so fantastic. And we've seen this character through the MCU and stuff. So, and this is like easily like one of her best performances from any MCU film, man. I mean, every scene with her was scary and stuff with the, the witch, the, the, her powers and stuff like that. And the battles and stuff, wow, it's just like, she was so convincing on screen that I felt like if I seen her in like real life, I'll be scared <laughs> in a lot of ways. I'm like, whoa, shit. <laughs> so I was I was scared, man. I was like really, really scared. It was just everything about it. I was just like, wow, it was crazy, man. It Everything about it, it her performance was just like two thumbs up. It was easily one of the best. And I loved everybody's performance, but hers alone was like, so I loved it. It was great and stuff. All that. Then what I like about this movie and stuff, what and back to the Sam Raimi stuff and all that. And I forgot to mention it earlier with the style and the directing. I liked how it just it felt like it like some parts like the battle and stuff, it felt like it's something you could read out of the comic books. And I could tell that Sam Raimi really like is like really a comic fan and stuff because you could tell that certain shots and stuff that he does and stuff it just how it's like it can, you could really like read out the pages out the comics and it felt like i was reading the comics at times so sam raimi did a great job with that so that was one thing i forgot to mention earlier on now, i thought that was good and stuff and i thought the performances everything from the directing the style the horror vibes all those things really worked well and stuff the film 
Now getting into like, I guess one of my, my mix into my negatives and stuff, the surprise of stuff in this film that I think everybody was looking for and stuff. Some of that was shown in the trailers, which if you've seen the trailers, you know what I'm talking about. But some of the um surprise with the characters that we both see like in the multiverse, that was cool and all. Some of it really did surprise me. There's like one character that did surprise me that I didn't expect or two that, that popped up in the film. I was like, wow, they really... <laughs> So I was like how to happy, but I thought it was gonna be a little bit more and stuff like that with when it comes to the the multiverse of madness and stuff. So I was expecting a little bit more out of that. And I thought they were gonna go more like full, like full punch with it. And so we get to see what you see in the trailers with the Illuminati and stuff like that. It was great the showing the in, putting that like in the entry of the MCU. So I was like, okay. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Some of the scenes with it really worked, though. And some of it, I kind of like, eh, I wish they kind of did better on that. I'm not going to go in full detail what I mean by that. But the surprises, I say for the most part, it worked. But I wish they could have done a little bit more. So I'm kind of like mixed on that. Well, I wish they could have did a little bit more on it. And the story with it, too. I felt like the story was not bad. But it's kind of, it's can, it can be kind of a little bit um, clunky at times, especially in the second act and stuff, because we have the Scarlet Witch storyline and we have Social Gomez as America Chavez character storyline and stuff, which the America Chavez story, I wish they could have did a little bit more with the characters a little bit, get her know because, you know, in the film, her, she kind of have problems with, like when it comes to her powers and stuff like that and dr strange is trying to like help her out and stuff i wish they did a little bit more developing on that if they did better with like written the character a little bit better on that part i would have been like wow i'm invested and that co and it's connected to like with the scarlet witch storyline because if you've seen like if you watch if you watch wanda vision then you'll know what you're getting into. You, you'll you know in general what her character, her motivation is. But if you go into this movie and haven't watched WandaVision, then I think you're going to be completely lost. But since I watched it, I kind of got a story, but it's I, but it seemed like that was like the only part. I was like, okay, that's great. And then the, uh, then the other part when it comes to the multiverse and all that, it connecting with those two, it kind of, like I said, it kind of feels like a little bit kind of jumbled. It never felt like it was connected together and stuff. Felt like three or four different storylines and you're trying to put them all together, trying to figure out how all this is going to work and stuff like that. And I say the second act was like a part that kind of, eh, kind of was a little bit here and there. But when it comes to the first and the third act, it worked, it worked good. And that's kind of weird because the first movie had uh, the, where the first act was kind of very fast. And then, like, around to the, the second and third act, it gets a little bit better. Now it's like, like the second act is kind of, like, uh, clunky. First act and third act in this movie felt like, okay, this is great. So that's one of my little issues with it, with the film. And like I said, and this is and this is one of my negatives. I felt like they did Marvel the reshoots and stuff. Did Marvel, like, because I've heard a lot this film went through a lot of reshoots. I mean, I'm trying to figure out, because this is a Sam Raimi film. And it does feel like a Sam Raimi film, but I will, but I will tell you this: it did sometimes felt like a Marvel film a little bit. And I'm like, Marvel said, "Let's make this a Marvel film." When Sam Raimi kept like going full with it, I guess Marvel like look as like, "Hey, you can't go that far," especially when it comes to the hard elements. When Sam Raimi's like try to like really go for it, which he does go for it, but some scenes I can tell Sam Raimi's trying to go for it, and they say, mm -mm, "You got you you gotta you gotta backpedal a little bit." So I don't know that they like mess with it. I don't know for sure, but man, just let Sam Raimi do his thing, man. Come on, man. I mean, this is Sam Raimi. Let him go for it. So it, it just, that's what it felt like to me. And not, nothing against Sam Raimi. I'm pretty sure Sam Raimi like put his like his heart and blood, sweat and tears through this movie and stuff. So I don't know the reshoots and stuff. So because in some scenes I felt like could have been longer and stuff. And I noticed that a couple of like I can I can tell that this movie that probably had long extended scenes and stuff when it comes to the the evil doctor strange to the supreme strange and all that which all those things really was good to see that in, in the mcu and the zombie strange so all that was good just i felt like i thought there could have been a little bit more but hey it there was a little there this i think this movie was maybe could have been like two hours and 30 minutes or something Maybe two hours, and I heard that it was a lot that was cut out of this film because the movie's like two hour, two hours and six minutes. This is like a little bit shorter than what you see in the other MCU films and stuff. So, 
I don't know, man, but it just so like that. And then some characters I felt like they they could have done better because there's one there's one specific character that was in the first Doctor Strange movie, and he's in another multiverse and stuff, and he's not in the the other one that the, the regular one that Doctor Strange is in. So I'm kind of curious where's the other character at? He's not it, it, this character's not dead. So where is he at? And I was questioning on that, and that could not escape my mind and stuff and all that. No, that was one of my issues. And like I said, the Illuminati, the multiverse thing, I wish they could have went more with that. I mean, when your title says Multiverse of Madness, and I know we say we shouldn't we shouldn't go in the movie with high expectations. I went with this, like, not even that high. I was excited, but I said if there's some surprises. But when it comes to that title, I felt like you could have did a little bit more. You could have did a little bit more more and stuff and maybe they there was more and we don't know but i guess this is the, the farthest that mcu can go with it because i guess they're saving up for the next movie and stuff and all that so hopefully the mcu might do more in the future but this one i felt like they could have did a little bit more and that's pretty much it overall do i think this is like a terrible movie no do i think this is like one of the top like mcu films and stuff like that or comic films no but i think this is a decent good comic book movie and stuff everybody that can watch it and stuff it could have been done a lot better when it comes to like the multiverse stuff the character development and the story and stuff like that i think it could have been a whole i think it had like a full potential to be like white wow mind-blowing which is still there's still some good stuff in it that that'll, that'll blow your mind and stuff but overall like did it like make like a avengers infinity war in-game punch like that I don't think so. That's in my opinion and stuff. But so, but everybody's watching my video might have a different opinion on it. Instead, if you have seen the film and stuff like that, but I, it, I think there's a film that everybody can see and stuff. But when it comes to like the horror elements and stuff like that, I don't know if kids can see it or not. That's that's the one thing I think that what it all depends on how how what age the, the group you're in and stuff. If you're a, like a grown adult. And so if you're not in the horror, even as an adult, then I don't think this is to be the film for you, like young or old. If you're not in the horror, this is not the film for you. But if you're into that horror, like the Sam Raimi horror, stuff like that, Evil Dead, Drag Me to Hell stuff, then you'll have an enjoyment time with this film, which since I'm a Sam Raimi fan, I definitely enjoyed it. And this was like around my alley, so I definitely like this film and stuff i don't think this is like i said again i don't think this is like the top best film and stuff but hey i still think it was good and overall i'm going to give this film a b plus let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this film did you like it or not let me know all that in the comment section down below and let me know what is your favorite sam raimi film and stuff like the evil dead or spider-man drag me to hell dark man and stuff I'll say Spider-Man, Evil Dead, and uh, and stuff like that. That's one of my favorite uh, Sam Raimi films. Evil Dead 1 and 2, Spider-Man 1 and 2, Dark Man. I'll say those are one of my favorite Sam Raimi films. But let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts and opinions about the film and your favorite Sam Raimi film. Let me know all that in the comment section down below. And that's pretty much it. And as always, if you like this video, click thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, click subscribe and the bell button for more future content. That's all I can see you next time on Slide the Movie Guy. Peace.